Well, I think everybody saw a very hard played physical basketball game. Two teams really competing. Um, you give all of them credit. Uh, you know, they made a few more plays than we did, and that's what it all boiled down. This game wasn't about, this was the little things tonight. A couple rebounds their way. You know, we make a few free throws. That probably helps us a little bit. Free throw line and the three point line necessarily didn't go our way, but give them a lot of credit. Um, but this is a game. This is a game of just two teams that are warriors and beast. And I'm very proud of our team how they responded against a really. You know, we were not only concerned about their talent, but that's an old, you know, a very old team we just played, and we're pretty much the opposite. I think they're probably top five in the country as far as experience. We're, I think, we're 300 and something, and just the opposite. Um, and uh, I was proud of how these guys responded. Our freshmen, we had three freshmen out there a lot, a lot, and uh, we were, you know, that's the first time they've probably been through something like that. Um, but the effort was there. The competitiveness was there on our part. These guys executed what we wanted to do game plan wise. I thought it was on target. Uh, it was just little things, just a few little things here and there, uh, what this game was all about. So give those guys credit. They're a great team. Uh, they're going to, you know, win a ton of games. And uh, But I'm proud of our guys' effort and how they competed. Questions for uh, Javante or Jordan? Jordan, just tap. Uh, physicality of the game just even, you know, with running your offense and you know, how far they were pushing you guys out and that type of thing. So how physical was it? How much did that impact you guys just trying to run your offense with the press? I mean, we went over it all week about them trying to blow up handoffs and deny the first pass. I think we handled it good for the most part. Uh, physicality, I'm, 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 I got a physical style of game, so the physicality, it didn't really bother me that much. Uh, I mean, I got a big dude down there that he does, he does his job by protecting the rim, so it kind of challenged my shots a little bit. But as far as the team, I think we handled the pressure pretty good. Like Coach said, we, they just made a couple of plays at the right time. Ronda, you um, came on pretty strong in the second half trying to keep the team in the game. Uh, could you just talk about you know what your mindset was was there because you guys struggled offensively um, in the first half after those first few minutes? Yeah, um, I knew we were. I, I didn't. I don't think I scored the first half, so I knew we were missing something. And coach kept saying we had to make plays, so I was just trying to make as many plays as I could. And the ball went in the basket for me the first time, so I just kept getting it up there. Jordan, they. Um they had a lot of threes, and some of them were, I mean, out from sequence of offensive rebounds, from odd scrambles, scrambles for the ball, and end of the shot clock. But just how much are, just how deflating is it when, when those threes go down after you've defended for the whole shot clock or when, you know, they get them on the loose ball and that type of thing? Uh, I mean, you got to get credit to them. Uh, going up there and knocking a shot down, it's not easy. Uh, going up there making it and actually taking the shot and making it. But uh, it's definitely – when you lose 50-50 balls and obviously rebounds, leads to threes, that's definitely a momentum changer. And uh, it kills us, but you got to give them credit. Anybody else for the student athletes? All right. Questions for Coach Ford. You guys got the obviously the great jump. Um, didn't have the slow start this time, um, but then the offense game was more difficult the last 16 minutes. What? what did you see? Uh, I, I I I thought the first two or three minutes we were attacking the rim. We got away from attacking the rim, and, and uh, you know we kind of got you know, a little comfortable. But you know I, I don't pay. A, I'm glad we got off to a great start. I don't pay much attention to it. I mean, it's better than not. But, you know, they're going to make a run right back at us. But, I, you know, that's what you said, Stu. It is. This whole game was about a bounce here and there. I think they made two threes off last second offensive rebounds, balls rolling out of bounds. They'd throw it back in, catch it, and throw it in from 35, 45 feet. That's what this game was about. At the end of the day, that's what the, that was the only difference in the game. I think both teams shot pretty much – Bad percentages. I mean, it was just, um, you know, 
they didn't shoot there late. And then we didn't, they shot 28 free throws. We shot 19, but neither one of us probably were too happy with the way we shot them. Uh, they shot the three a whole, obviously a whole lot better um, than we did. We didn't make a three until the second half. And so I told our team, shoot free throws like that, shoot threes like that, and we still put ourselves in position uh, against an elite basketball team. Um, you know, they had a career day by their point guard. I don't know if, you know, I just thought he, without that performance, that's just, he went, I mean, he was uh, a one-man band there for a while, I thought. And, hey, he took advantage of some opportunities that, uh, that we were kind of playing and uh, give him credit. I told him after the game, of course, after the game, he was the difference in the game, plain and simple, and by a wide margin. But I, I'm proud of our guys. You look at Jordan Goodwin again. Goes out and does what he does against a big, strong, physical team. And Hassan's a little banged up. and uh, It took him out there late. But uh, um, he's in foul trouble most of the game. And we, we battled a lot. And uh, there's no excuses still. As I told our team, we were disappointed we didn't come out ahead. But it's not because we don't think we're – good enough, it's just we didn't make enough plays. We got in foul trouble, didn't make our free throws, and just didn't come up with a rebound here or there. And it adds up when you play against the 12th-ranked team in the country who's got seniors and Final Four guys that played in the Final Four, and it, you better – you you got to do most things right. And we our effort and attitude was right. We just didn't come up with enough, quite enough rebounds, even though we rebounded the ball pretty well. Um, or a loose ball here and there, just little things, little things. Um, you guys have now played um, – Seton Hall was 12 when you played them. Now you played 12 for Auburn. How much difference did you see in your, your team now when you played those two games? Well, I mean, you saw us both. I mean, we weren't very good against Seton Hall um, um, at all. Um, but I, I think our team's grown up competitive-wise. It, it, when you look back and you start – Thinking back in those days, you remember me talking a lot about we weren't very tough. Our defense wasn't where it needed to be. And I think we've grown in those areas. And when you're, you know, again, we're one of the youngest teams, most inexperienced teams in the country, and it just takes time. It takes time. You know, without Fred Thatcher, we would have been a veteran player. You know, he hasn't played for us. Um, like I said, we got three freshmen on the court a lot, a lot. Um, and it's just a learning process. And, I told our team, we got to use this, even though we're disappointed, we got to use this to, uh, as a learning experience. Um, but if we have, if we play that hard, then good things will happen for us. Any additional questions for Coach Ford? Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.